this a morning thing? It's a morning thing. thing? I like the cannoli it. thing is for the morning. Oh, it's a big week for comedian Sebastian Maniscalco. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. He is playing Madison Square Garden to a sellout crowd this weekend. In fact, they had to add an another show. A few of He kept yeah. selling them out. He's got a new Netflix special out that we're going to talk about in a second. But first, a look at why Sebastian is one of the biggest names in stand-up. You ever dress an infant? They have no core, so is it? Sebastian Maniscalco's expressive, often physical comedy has made him a hit with fans, selling out shows at marquee venues like New York's Radio City Music Hall and Madison Square Garden. Now, he's starring in a new Netflix special called Stay Hungry. I gotta go to a body shop. You ever go there? Man, they're waiting for you to pull in. And they swarm the car. They just... I thought I was at a Cirque du Soleil show. They were... So what did my sister have to say about you being gone for three weeks? He's also on the big screen with a role in the film Green Book from our sister company, Universal Pictures. Right. What does Michelangelo have to do with writing letters? From the screen to the stage, Sebastian Maniscalco is a star, or as his father might say, a big shot. I got my father here. And he's planning a whole day today. I go, there. Uh -uh. I'm playing Radio City tonight. They go, well, you're too big now, big shot. You big, big shot, you can go out to lunch with your father. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Sebastian. We talked about your dad. Is your, you think your mom's watching you this morning? So I told my mom I'm doing a Today Show. Yeah. She's like, you made it. That's it. It's happening. <laughs> That's all it took, That's huh? all it took, yeah. First of all, congrats on selling out MSG. I mean, that, that's that incredible. is the, that's the venue, right? All First, of it. And that's the Netflix, the, spot. the Netflix yeah. special, the book. Yeah, I it's, mean. it's been nuts. I mean, I've always had a great following here in New York yeah. City. I started at Gotham Comedy Club, then The Beacon, then The Radio City, now uh, Madison Square Garden. So, yeah, I think people are resonating with, you know, my crazy father, my immigrant upbringing. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so we got 80,000 people coming out to, uh, to the show. That's What's it been like, just this whole ride? It's, you know, like, once I think I've hit, like, a, a really good milestone, another one happens. So mm -hmm. I'm just really, really appreciative for all, all the success. I've been doing this now for 20 years, and uh, it's nice to share with my family. I got my, my wife here, my little daughter, and um, my father's coming in, my mother's coming in, sister. Well, you got a baby on the way. You got a little boy on the way? Little boy. What are you going to do? On the what, way. What are you do with a little boy? What's going to happen there? Well, uh, you know, my father wasn't really patient with me growing up, you yeah. know, like, so I don't know anything like I don't know how to fix anything like we, I would start doing something and he'd be like get out of here I gotta go to work so hopefully I could be a little bit more patient with my son and uh, and, and teach him the things he needs to know so uh, yeah it's it's all good it's Green Book did well at the Globes did you go to the Golden Globes no it's another thing my father was uh, we're watching it at home and he's like why aren't you there and I go dad I, I wasn't invited I go, what do you mean invited you were in, you're in the show right. so uh, yeah, yeah. It's hard to kind of tell my parents that, you know, like, I, I don't have, like, just the authority to sit down at the table at the Golden Globe. Somebody has to ask me to go. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. He, he he wants to go to the Oscar. Like, he wants to yeah. go to these yeah. things. Of That's course. how it is with parents. Like, he's like, are we going to be rocking down the red car? I go, what do you mean, we? Yeah. yeah. I could barely get there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, everybody wants you tickets. You have so many cool things that are going on in your life. There's another movie coming out with this crazy all-star cast. Scorsese oh, the is the director. Yeah. Yeah. The Irishman. So, okay, this is, is Pesci, De Niro, uh, Chino, De Niro, De Niro. Uh, Pacino. Uh, yeah, Pacino's oh, in it. Is that crazy? That's that's so, how do you get the call to go to get? with this movie. So I, audi I auditioned. I came to New York City to audition. How did they, did they pick you? Did they say come, come Yeah, I've, I've had this on my radar for the last three or four years. Yeah. I told my agent, if you if you get a chance to get me in, get me in. I get me in. I, they got me in. I screwed up the audition. How? Bad. I just, I was in there and you know what they told me? They're like, you're looking really good for this part. And that's all I have to hear. And I sabotage it. <laughs> right. If, if they would have told me, you got a you're really long shot. You're yeah. never going to yeah. happen. I'm like, all right. I got it. But they tell me I almost got it. And I unravel. So what so, happened after that bad audition? So uh, they gave me another shot to do okay. it again on tape. And uh, I sent it in. Or they sent it in to, to Scorsese. And uh, he liked me for, for another role. This crazy Joe Gallo role. But so, in the movie. In the movie. Yeah. So yeah. you're sitting across these A-listers, these actors who have won all kinds of awards. Were you f 
freaking out, like just Sweating. praying you weren't you're going to make it through your lines? Or? Yeah. So what do they uh, say to you? Like, what does Pesci say to you? I I don't say anything. I'm I'm just what? there. I'm hoping not to get fired. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not going to be talking to like Pesci and De Niro in between the, you know scenes going. Right. Love you in casino. <laughs> right. So I would just sit there with my hands folded. Art. And uh, you know there was a part where we had to do lighting and me and De Niro st standing eye to eye and we're looking right at each other and I'm like I'm not gonna talk unless he talks you're to about me. to start so, the scene yeah so what are you what are you doing nothing it was just like Staring a stare off him? for right. two minutes and the guy didn't say nothing they just fixed so, the lighting and so yeah I, I didn't uh, you know I just I, I, I went in what was he doing was he just, was he he was just looking right at me <laughs> and then, and then I was, is he in character or I don't know what he was in I didn't want to ask I don't know what he was doing and then at one point he goes your tie is not tied right and he just cinched it I go Oh my God! <laughs> I fixed my tie. So uh, <laughs> I could have choked you out. <laughs> yeah. It did was you go to awesome. acting school, or like, how did you? How did you get your acting? Jobs? I take uh, I take classes uh -huh. uh, with an acting coach, uh -huh. and anytime I get a part, I work with her. And uh, but I didn't have any formal training. I didn't go to you know like acting. And when you step on the, when you step on the stage at MSG and it's full, like, do you get a rush? Do you get scared? Like, what goes on? There? No, I'm. I'm, it's it's leading up to yeah. it, which is the problem. Once I'm on stage, everything's fantastic. It's just like now it's what Wednesday, so it's just like I, I wish the show was tonight. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. There's a lot of press right. involved with 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 it all and, and the build up to it. But yeah, once you're there, you feel it's, it's exciting. I mean, come on, Madison Square Garden, the come epicenter on. of New York City. Oh and, uh, was it three or four nights too? Uh, it's two nights, two shows a night. We still got tickets on sale well, for Jan. Uh, well, not many, so people yeah. got to buy them because yeah. they're going fast. Which way do you want it? Because now it seems like yeah. you're there, right? I mean, you just now you could go any path you want. You could still do the specials, you could do the books, you could do the movies, you could do the acting, you could have maybe your own thing, like a Seinfeld thing comes to mind. Like, where do you see this all headed? I just, um, uh, I like doing stand up. I you like doing control your parent or your dad, I guess, is yeah. the first thing. My, my, yeah, if I could control my father, that would be <laughs> fantastic. He'll have something but, to say about this. <laughs> yeah, so uh, TV is not, uh, if there's an opportunity that comes yeah. along, fantastic, but I'm happy doing stand-up comedy. Hey, Sebastian, thank you for joining oh, us. You're a lot of fun. Good luck. Have it. fun. And the cannolis. Yeah, <laughs> don't forget, his comedy special, Stay Hungry, streaming on Netflix right now.